Now, it was exactly a year ago to this day. President Moon Jae-in travelled to North Korea's capital for his third summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. They agreed in Pyongyang to take some really ambitious steps towards denuclearizing the peninsula and advancing into Korean relations. But, unfortunately, uh, now we know that those efforts have been gradually running out of steam over the past 12 months. Our Park Hee-joon with this report. Exactly a year ago on September 19th, the historic day when President Moon Jae-in traveled to the North capital of Pyongyang for his third summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. They made significant agreements that they jointly declared to the rest of the world. And denuclearization was discussed as an official agenda at an inter-Korean summit for the very first time. It produced some concrete measures with the North agreeing to permanently dismantle its nuclear facilities at the Yongbyon nuclear complex. We have agreed to make the Korean Peninsula a land of peace, free from nuclear threats. But one year later, the Yongbyon complex remains as it is. No roadmaps or timetables for nuclear disarmament have been made. No sanctions have been eased either. Instead, there's North Korea's blunt criticism toward the South and its series of short-range missile tests. At the core of the stalemate is the No Deal summit between North Korea and the U.S. in Hanoi in February. U.S. President Donald Trump walked away after Kim refused to abandon all of Pyongyang's nuclear programs. They also disagreed on the scope of the lifting of sanctions. The long stalemate has been a challenge for President Moon. What Moon Abjection can do at the moment is quite limited uh, by the fact that uh, North Korea has publicly came out saying that South Korea should stay out of the negotiation uh, between Washington and Pyongyang. Uh, South Korea, by uh, staying out of the negotiation between Washington and uh, Pyongyang, it actually gives some political leverage, meaning that uh, if the, ultimately uh, the talks breaks down, then South Korea can actually have a chance to uh, restart the talks you know, from a different angle. That's uh, because it's not politically involved at the moment. Patience and consistency. Despite the challenges, President Moon chooses to stay committed to his efforts to achieve peace and denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea remains willing to negotiate. This is shown by Kim turning up for a last-minute trilateral meeting at Panmunjom and the numerous letters exchanged with President Trump. The Blue House is cautiously observing these recent developments, anticipating a new phase in Pyongyang-Washington talks that hopefully leads to improved inter-Korean relations. Park Hee-jun, Irang News.